In 2006, I went to the fair, and the first thousand pound pumpkin I've ever seen was brought in by J.D. Mickelson, the 1019. And I just thought that was cool as hell, you know? So I decided to give it a try. And then we got hooked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Today's the day where after five months of effort, you gotta find out a, if you have a whole intact pumpkin that can be a contender, you know? And then that's the first step. And then, yeah, as you can see, just getting them out of the greenhouse into the trailer and truck can be kind of stressful in itself, you know? So a lot of relief today. After getting everything into the truck, all I gotta do is drive there. Should be good. This year's pumpkins that we didn't make a new state record, 1231 is a pretty good size for the type of summer that we did have being on the cooler side and not so much sun. Uh, I think that that just goes to show the skill that the growers do have. That is impressive. Isn't that a beast? I'm Dave Isles, I'm from North Pole, and I just won the pumpkin competition. I was told that part of this game is to give each pumpkin a name. So I thought with all of my might to come up with a name that was right. Now this plant started out rather small, so I didn't pay attention at all. While the others were growing quite fast, I thought this plant's chances had passed. But with all things greatest and small, the mighty this year, they did fall. So this plant that I thought was a sleeper, it turned out to be Reaper's Keeper. And that's the name of the pumpkin, Reaper's Keeper. Shocked to see how big of a pumpkin he bring. I had no clue. It was it was awesome. You know, you win some, you lose some, and we lost by 60 pounds. So gives me uh, motivation for next year.